What is going on, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. I am Unknown Factions, and thank you for joining me for Sybil Valheim. And today I'm going to be giving you 10 build tips on how to turn your builds from crappy little boxes into beautiful masterpieces. But first, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing as I am always cranking out Valheim content. And of course, smash that like button so your boy can get a little promotion. Both are greatly appreciated. And without any further ado, let us get going. So tip number one, of course, is going to have to do with the foundation. Now, if you're not aware, you should always build on a foundation, whether it's wood or stone. I prefer stone. That way I'm not wasting any height because you can only build seven high with, uh, with wood before you're going to need reinforcement. So I start with stone so I'm not wasting any space. And I always work in odd numbers. Now, if you don't work in odd numbers and you go with even numbers, you're going to end up not being able to use the center roof tiles. You're going to have to put in like a center beam up there as like a ridge board, you know, and you're wasting instances and material. So by working with odd numbers, it allows everything to come together nicely. So you'll have two roofing tiles on the side and a centerpiece in the top. So everything will just come together perfectly at the end. So odd numbers makes things a lot easier. So keep that in mind when you are framing out your house and setting your foundation for your build. Now, I always start with just a basic square. I mean, I've heard people say, you know, you want to get, go ahead and frame out all your rooms on your foundation and things like that, which is completely unnecessary. You know, so you can just, you start with a box and you can add additions and outcrops, but that'll be a later tip. But moving on to number two, which would be framing. Now you always want to frame out your builds. Now, not only is this going to make it easy for you to be able to get the walls and the roofs right, but it's also going to allow you to run supports up through it iron once you have reached your max height which is seven with the wood beams and so by having your frame already in here this will allow you to come through when you need support and just run iron straight up from the ground to the max height and allow you to gain a few more spaces to be able to build with so once we have all of our framing down our simple little rectangular foundation which we shall be moving on to the roof which is going to lead us to our next tip which is outcrops and overhangs now the overhangs on the roof are crucial to keep the sides of your builds from sticking to each other which you know it's not always necessary because not every house needs an overhang but this is another key point for definition of your builds so by adding just like a little half meter board to the end of your roof this will allow you to be able to jut off just a little bit that way you can have a little extra pizzazz to your build now with the sides of your build stuck together it's just going to look very plain jane real simple this will help add some of that much needed and desired definition of your builds but moving on to the extrusions so by framing our windows off of the side of the build this will allow you to have some more definition to your builds and will keep you from having to stick boards on the side of your build you know to add definition this will be a proper way to get some more you know flare out of your building is what i'm getting at so by doing these little one meter boards turning it twice and then going straight across with two and then turning it one more and mirroring this all the way up we can have a protruding three pane window which will add a beautiful beautiful little concave to inside and outside of your build so you can do like little benches on the inside and whatnot or just use it as a decorative window pane which will allow you to add item stands and weapons and whatnot to the inside and of course you can frame these windows out any which way you want and fill them in with glass and iron and they always just come out very very nicely but moving back towards the roof now this is a trick that most people don't seem to use would be eliminating the snap point of your peaks of your roof so by coming up to your roof and by holding shift click on your 45 degree like wallboard it will allow you to avoid the snap point of the roof you know where you, you know if you just follow the snap point up like this you're gonna have a board sticking out the top of your roof and then you see people and they come put the fascia board on the end of the roof and then you have double lines right there which is just so unrealistic so by removing these and then by holding shift click and getting it to sit on the inside of the roof and then we just kind of line it up as best we can you know, you want to follow the bottom board and then, of course, 
boom, just like that. And then we're going to come up here and do the same thing, just trying to match it up as best you can with the planks. That way that it'll look right in the end. And this will keep us from having boards jumping out the top of our roof. And so you won't have a bunch of wooden lines on your roof for some reason. So another key tip to having a legit looking build right here. But there you have it, a very legit looking peak to your roof with no clipping coming through either side. And now you can just run a fascia board along the outside of this, you know, with your nice little 45 degree or 20 degree, whatever, which one you're ever using, you know, to the top, giving it that Viking feel with the cross member up there. But pushing along to the next tip. Now, don't be afraid to switch directions on your roof. Now, like I said, working in odd numbers will make this easy. So we're just going to pop out three roofing tiles right here in the center. And we are going to switch the direction with one of our inverted corners like so. So by doing this, it will allow us to have, you know, a proper roof for the entryway. And then you can even push it out and extrude it a little more for your roof. To your porch so by doing this it's going to keep you from having a nice hut or turn your hut into a house i should say because you know very very seldom will you see a house with a single ridge line if you see a house with a single ridge line it's probably a cheap house <laughs> this i'm talking about valheim too i'm not talking about the house you're staying in <laughs> but by doing this this is another key component of definition and this will separate your build from everybody else's oh that's the wrong ridge board get that out of there there we go right there boom there you have it but moving on to the next tip if you haven't seen where i explain the multitude of different round roofs you can do i will give you the key component of that right now so when it comes to building round roofs all you really have to do is find dead center of whatever round structure you're doing and then just bring an upright straight from there and then you will have the center point to which you can drape down an umbrella your entire round roof from. So as you can see, I'm using the one meter boards right here. And we just did the one turn all the way around. This works if you know you, you go every two snap and turn. So like two place turn, two place turn. This will work with any sized round roof. You know, some may require more structural support than others. But as you can see right here, this is five boards across. So... Obviously, some simpleton math, you know, if you go two and a half boards in and then go half a meter in, you will have dead center of this. So there, as you can see, we have three boards down. Now we're going to split this one right in middle. Like so. Get, get these boards out of here. These were just to show the correct number of the correct width of this, actually. So we split right there. Boom. This will allow us to place right off of that and get dead center and of course you're gonna have to use shift click to be able to find the center now with these five meter wide circular buildings you only need to come up one so you know if it's 10 wide you're gonna need to come up two and 20 you're gonna need to come up four and so on and so forth and like i said you're gonna have to put some more structural support into the larger ones but the concept remains the same once you find dead center you will easily be able to drape a roof all the way around it now i'm going to use the corner tiles because they are perfect for these round roofs and if you just follow your snap points all the way around doing two so you know turn it twice place turn it twice place and then come back and fill all the gaps in which you don't need to but i do love the look of all these center ridge beams like that it just completes the you know the tiki hut style roof and gives it that perfect conic feel but there you have it. That is how you can make a perfect round roof every single time, no matter the width. But moving on to the next, and one of the most important tips that I could give you on building in Valheim would be additions. Do not be afraid to add on to your place. Now, as you can see, we started with a small little box, and we're just going to keep on adding rooms and adding rooms and changing the shapes and offsetting them a little bit. That way that we can have true definition to your build now you don't want to just expand your rectangle or your box and make a bigger box with another room you know you want to change it up you want to have a different style different shape and offset the walls a little bit that way they come together like this you know protruding extruding however you want to say it but this is where your building is going to get its uniqueness and of course you could keep it old school like that and just lace it with the cottage style walls but this is what's going to make your build look the most unique but moving on to the next tip, which would be forcing snap points. Now, when it comes to building, you know, curves or structures, you know, you might find it hard to snap some of these like so. But if you place blocks underneath whatever you're trying to place, this works with wood and stone. As you can see, it will allow you to find a new snap point. So 
This is one way to help build with round structures or curved walls. Also, you can force snap points on roofing tiles, just like so. This way you don't have to build around and get on top of your roof. You can always just slap down a quick cross member like so, and this will allow you to have a new snap point in the center. That way you can just go ahead and pop your roofing tiles up from you know whatever floor you're working on. You don't have to get up there and keep sliding off the roof and place blocks up there to hold your ass up there. And this literally has so many applications as well. If you're having a hard time placing a block anywhere, just throw a block down right around it and you should be able to find the snap point you're looking for. But moving on to the final tip, I wanted to talk about early furniture and of course just furniture in general. Now there is way more furniture in the game that you can build than they give you. So like for example right here I'm going to show you a beautiful little round table that you can make right off the rip in your house. Now I'm using stone to build it on which you can do this on top of the wood floor as well. But as long as you are one meter off of the ground you should have no problem getting a little table support underneath it but as you can see i'm doing a two turn placement and it makes this nice little shape right here and then we just bust out what we're standing on and leave one that way it doesn't start crumbling before you get your block ready so as you can see i'm going to leave one and i'm going to grab this real fast bust it and place it right in the center boom and like i said as long as you're one meter off the floor your support won't bounce up through the table and of course you can build shelves cupboards literally just about anything you want i mean with the power of imagination, it is unlimited. So don't forget that you can completely and fully decorate your house without having any nails to build furniture with. You know, of course, you know, you'll lackluster of color and stuff and it won't be perfectly shaped all the time, but nonetheless, you will have some beautiful furniture and it's a great way to fill up your vacant houses and your empty walls. So don't be afraid to get freaky with the furniture. But also wanted to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate you guys so much for joining the channel and help support my dream of becoming a full-time YouTube creator. And also, if you want to join the Gilded down below for some in-depth guide and help, and of course just to play around on the community server with the rest of us fellas, check out the Gilded in the link below. And with all that said, I'll catch you folks in the next one.